by looking from there that when they will go all come then i will come mm-hmm. but i thought that they are my guru varga and that is why they will not come until i will come it is not bhakti kirtan is going on so well but i saw that only feel they are there and what they are doing they were doing i don't know many are cooking sitting cooking with you are cooking you are cooking what cooking pineapple and banana and tala what you are doing i was chanting jap jap is jap Jap, you can chant in night. Why now when kirtan? This is not okay. Hmm? What he was doing, I don't know. When kirtan, we should all come and do kirtan. It is not good. At that time, kirtan, we will chant. I will worship. I will do this. I don't. This is not bhakti. You know that today is so auspicious day. Only I was looking from there. What they are doing? I want that also combine do kirtan with love and affection. You can chant at any time. We have so much time, day and night, whole twenty-four hours. 
24 hours kirtan is not going then what is the use of kirtan if an animal will not join in kirtan what is use then let us kirtan give up and chanting or making what <laughs> like ordinary person chaitanya mahaprabhu introduced mahas this sankirtan so you will see we should try to give importance of kirtan and also samuhik collectively yes
<coughs> Today is Krishna Vasanta Panchami. What are you uh, we are doing? Partner. No. That you? What we are doing here? Not Kirtan, attending? Eh? What we you are doing? I was also trying to eh? I was trying to jump up. You should take, keep this. And five times. Sitting and five times. Five times. I don't want all these things. That all are doing kirtan to this very special and you are chanting. You can chant in day, in mid time at twelve, no harm, without sleeping. Why this time? When kirtan is going on. I don't want all these things. Oh they are from morning they are doing kirtan. If you are cooking, no harm. Oh, you are doing. But uselessly chanting. Oh, this is like a what? Bahana. Excuse. Bahana mani kya? Excuse. Excuse. Means? Excuse. Oh, I was uh, doing so. So I could not. Pretext. Pretext like. Today, Krishna Vasanta Panchami. At that date in Vindavan, 
very Vashanta Springtime spring 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 begins. <coughs> Though it is so cold, but from this day <coughs> some changes in Ritu. Season. Season. Hmm? So from this very day, Krishna takes some collar in his what? Which carry? Which carry you know? Like a gun. Syringe. 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 And <coughs> Gop and Gopis all began to. And from this day, Bhashanti Shaam, Holy from Ajkadim. And from today, Krishna begins his Rash Liga. Here and there, different places. Bhashanti is a caller in India, linseed oil tree, creep, not creeper, but plant. Their flowers, mustard oil. And linseed oil, what is linseed? Sarsa cheese. Sarsa. Linseed oil will be sarsa. And mustard oil, very yellow, like the color of the dupatta of Krishna. So everywhere in Vrindavan, the color of whole trees and forests will be like yellow. in green, yellow. Very good. Like Krishna is shyam, green, and his clothes are like yellow in this. This not yellow. This is somewhat. This is. This is somewhat. So Vasanta Panchami. Today is the appearance day of. Raghunath Das Goswami and Vishnu Priya Devi. And also Kirobhav of this appearance day of Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. And more one, what more? Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Vishnu Priya, Raghunath Das Goswami, Adirbhav. Or Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur Tirobhav. And in India, Saraswati Puja. So, you know, Vishnu Priya, Raghunath Das Goswami, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, also you know all. But we should try to be established in their life and the teachings of their. How they served Krishna or Mahaprabhu? What was their characters? How they used to worship and how to hmm, do aradhana? In world we see that Hearing something, oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's glory, something. It may be that wife will tell that, oh, I want to serve her, <coughs> Gaur Nityananda Prabhu. And she will insist her husband, oh, bring, bring, and we will do puja. And when it will be established and it will be brought home, and Thakur will come. Then wife and husband may quarrel. That you should do worship and you should do worship. Hmm? Husband will tell that I have no time, I have not taken bath. You should take bath and do worship. And wife will quarrel that, Oh, today I have not slept in nights, 
I have not taken bath yet. I am not ready. You should do. Hmm? And they make one, and thus Thakur will be upavas, upavas, fasting. Animal that they may take something or not even, eh? but Thakur will say that oh, who will worship me? Who will worship me? And thus he will tell, oh, I want to go to Nodi Parvinda. I don't want to. So, we should not be like that. We should call that I will worship. And she will call that I will worship. Then it is the symptom of love and affection and aradhana. Such a Vishnu Priya never quarrel that, oh, today I am sick. And, oh, Sachi Maya, you should worship Mahaprabhu. Never. Raghunath Das Goswami, had he given his salad, um, what sila? Govardhan sila to others, how he used to serve? Sometimes skipping Giraj on his eyes. eyes, sometimes in head, sometimes here, making bath from his tears. How affection and love was. Deity worship is not a very easy thing. Not very easy thing. So if there is love and affection, then really it is. That is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knows all these things that they cannot worship well. So don't worship go, don't go to worship more. You should chant and remember. Because they may neglect, they may make any offenses, so many offenses. That is why knowing this, we told that you should chant all his name. And if you can chant, and remember, and doing worship with bhav, then so good. That is why our rishis, Muni, have discovered this thing all oh, very long <coughs> time ago. That in Kali it is very hard to worship. And that is why, they, oh, always chanting, sometimes sleeping. I have seen that so many devotees, chanting and sleeping and not chanting and mala is here and they are like fit here. <laughs> <laughs> On any house there, but worship, in worship it will not do. Never it will do. Hmm? So, uh, it has been told, satyu dhyan treta Yagya, Dvapar, Archan, and Kali Yoga, easy thing. But how Vishnu Priya, Sarva Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who will speak? You should speak. <coughs> or you should come and stand up here. Not bhaktiaya, bhaktaya. Bhaktaya. Bhaktaya nahi. So on this most auspicious occasion of the disappearance day, appearance day of the Vishnu Pura Devi, 
the internal transfer of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can reflect a, a bit upon her divine qualities and her pastimes of serving Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We have heard from Srila Gurudev about the story of when Mahaprabhu, when Sri Sachi Nandana Gaurahari, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, was preparing to take sannyas. And on the very day when he was to leave home, that day he was acting in a particular way toward Vishnu Priya Devi, which made her somewhat suspicious. Because generally, uh, Mahaprabhu did not uh, joke with her so much. He was very serious. But on this particular day, he was very light-hearted. Turn, turn it down. He was very light-hearted. And some joking was there. So she was wondering, what is to take place? And then, when she went in the morning time for bathing in the Ganga, at that time she had one nose ring. This nose ring was given to her at the time of her marriage. And as she was bathing, she somehow lost this nose ring. And it went down into the water and she was searching everywhere. Great anxiety, where is my nose ring? Where is my nose ring? She could not find it. So, because of this, she became very much concerned that there, the, these two signs are being shown. There is something different today. What is going to occur? So, in the evening time, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sat with Vishnu Priya Devi and he came to her and he decorated her very beautifully and he sat with her and this was again another symptom Vishnu Priya Devi was very concerned what, what is going to take place what is going to happen so that evening uh, when they retired to the bedroom in the middle of the night Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he woke from his bed but he saw that Vishnu Priya Devi was not sleeping and she was very grave and she just was standing there and also Mother Sachi was standing outside at the doorway and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu without saying anything he circumambulated uh, Mother Sachi he got up from his bed he circumambulated Mother Sachi three times and paid his pronouns to her and then without speaking anything he left and he walked toward the Ganga and upon reaching the Ganga he swam across and this place uh, which is located there is called Nidai Ghat and Nidai means sorry? Nidai means no mercy Nidai Doya so it was said like that because it appeared that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was being so merciless, that he was leaving his dear most Mother Sachi and Vishnu Priya Devi for good, never to come again, that they would be able to see him and with his beautiful, dark, uh, uh, beautiful flowing black hair and his lotus eyes and dressed as he was always dressed in Nam Sam Kirtan. So then, when he reached the other side, he went in the direction of Tattva, and there he took sannyas from Shikesha Bharati. So, after Mahaprabhu took sannyas, Vishnu Priya Devi was constantly serving Mother Sachi. She always stayed there and was serving Mother Sachi, and she had one murti uh, of Sachinandana Gaurahari, and his hands were held out like this. So she was serving every day, 
And the way that she was performing her bhajan was extremely renounced. She would chant one round <coughs> of bhajan on her beads, and then she would take one piece of, one grain of rice and put it to the side. And then when she would chant another round, another grain of rice she'd put to the side. And in this way, with only the grains of rice that were representing the number of rounds that she chanted, then she would cook this and she would take this, offer this to her beloved uh, Goranga Mahaprabhu and then she would take the prasad. And this was her daily program. So Sri Vishnu Priya Devi uh, continued throughout her life in this way, serving Sachinandana Gaurahari in great pangs of separation. So we fell down to her lotus feet on this most auspicious day and we beg for her prosperous mercy upon us that we may also one day have some inspiration to perform such, uh, even one dim reflection of this type of bhajan. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left his home, what Vishnu Priya was doing? What Vishnu Priya was doing? She was sleeping. What he told? She was just standing, and in midday, midnight she was standing. What he told? That's what he said. He was awake when his mistake. She was sleeping. Huh? She was sleeping. I made mistake. Oh, you made mistake. She was not standing. She slept because Jo Gumaya came and made her sleep. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu looked. And what Sachimaya was doing? She was standing at the uh, at the entry of the house like a wood wood. She has, she had become like a wood. Why? Like a statue. Why? In the mood of separation, she she could not bear that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will leave her. And, and she when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left, anyone knew this fact that today in night he will let, leave? Shachimata had some idea. Huh? This one. But such a Mata has some idea, not her, but idea that today he may go. Mali, Murari Gupta, Mukunda. And Advaita Charya? No. Chandrasekhar Acharya perhaps. Because they all went to Katva. And where he took sannyas in front of all. When chanting and counting the rices, taking, how he used to always weeping, feeling so much separation. So she was following any Gauru mantra or Krishna mantra. What she was doing? What? Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always told all to chant and remember Krishna. So we should try to follow. Her bhajan was so high class. Though he was in house, but she was not in house. Always in the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu remembering and Krishna. Always. 
So if we are doing bhajan, no separation mood is there. Then really that bhajan is not pure bhajan. We should feel some separation mood. Uh, you should explain the character of Sri Raghunath Das Goswami before leaving home. We should try to take all these things and try to exercise and try to take all his <coughs> Upadesh teaching and how he made his life, how he practiced. We should try to <coughs> go. Before Raghunath Das Goswami had left home, uh, he was practicing. From beginning, from beginning. When he was a very, very young boy, uh, he was growing up in the home of his. From his uh, birth. <laughs> from his birth. Um, Raghunath Das Goswami was born on on this day, <laughs> many, many years ago, and. He grew up in the, in the household of his father and mother and uncle. They were very. They they were. Um, what was the name of his father? Rat. Govardhan Maham. Majumdar. Mahar Majumdar. Hmm. <laughs> and um, his mother's name was. <laughs> Unknown. Unknown. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I got that one right then. Um, so as as he grew up, he was he was naturally and spontaneously attracted to serving to serving Radha and Krishna. How? And How he was engaged. The first his first um, his family guru was Yadunanda Acharya, and. At a very young age, he was able to, by the mercy of Radha and Krishna, get the association of Srila Haridas Thakur. So Srila Haridas Thakur would come, and on the pretext of teaching Radha and Krishna, his father and uncle, uncle, uncle Bo were Vaishnava Prana. What is the meaning of Vaishnava Prana? You were not here, so you are not qualified to tell anything. So try to learn all these things. Hmm. What? Vaishnava Praya. Vaishnava Praya. There are two words. Vaishnava Praya and Vaishnava Vishai Praya. Vishai Pramana like Vishai and Vaishnava Pramana like Vaishnava. Like Vaishnava but not Vaishnava. Vishai Praya like enjoying, enjoying. Uh, but not Vaishnava. So his father and mother were like and uncles and whole family was like Vaishnava Praya. Worshipping Krishna, Radha, but like a smarts, not so. They have no priority of bhakti in their actions. They used to worship. By, by worship they wanted money and fame and all these things. So they are Vaishnava. So even there was some impression of this boyhood and their family guru was Jadunandan Acharya who was in the line of Advaita Acharya, perhaps his disciple and he was a very famous and pure Vaishnava. 
So when he used to come to this house, he used to love so much to Raghunath. Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol, like this. And giving some remnants of Krishna, Tulasi, and telling so many Hari Katha from boyhood. And thus from boyhood, Raghunath Das became. But we should know that he was associates of Krishna himself. And that is why he was playing all these roles. But for general persons, these are things by which impression of bhakti may come. So from beginning, he has the association of Yadunanda Nacharya. After that, when he became of five, Yadunanda Nacharya gave him Harinam, and he was initiated. And from then he used to chant her name and doing devotion to Krishna. And in the meantime Haridas Thakur came there and he used to be with this family sometimes coming. And he also used to love so much affection to Raghunath Das because he was so lovely and always chanting, remembering Krishna. So, when he used to come, he used to be with Raghunath Das Gosha, telling so many Harikathas of Mahaprabhu and all others, Radha Krishna. And thus in boyhood he became very good Vaishnava. <coughs> then what became? Then by his association with Haridas Thakur, he began to develop an internal desire to serve Radha Krishna in, on a deeper level. And his mother was observing these things and it manifested itself externally by Raghunath Das Goswami started um, experiencing a detachment from, from uh, external things, from his household, from the things. And um, he began to he began to sleep outside of his room. He didn't sleep in his in his uh, in his bedroom. He used to sleep on the veranda out in the front. And so his mother became very very seriously worried that he was he was beginning to act like Haridas Thakur. So she told her husband. She said that I no longer want our son to take to to take um, to study with Haridas Thakur. And if he continually, and the, and the husband didn't see, didn't see a problem with it. He, he and Haridas Thakur were friends. And, but the, the wife then told, told um, um, Gordon that if you continually allow our son to associate with uh, this Haridas Thakur, then I'll kill myself. So, um, Where it is written that I would tell him? Any proof of this? That uh, his mother Mm. He told to Govardhan that uh, by the association he will be spoiled. Anywhere this writing, have you read? I remember from last year when we did the play, that's what I thought. No, yeah, was there? your play is out of what? Siddhant. Everywhere I have seen. You make some, you make some alterations and alterations. This was a and something wrong. <laughs> What to do? Have someone else speak. <laughs> no. Go on. Yes. But don't um, neglect all classes or kirtan. I don't mind. So by hearing the Harikatha 
Goswami became attracted to Lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he had a great desire to go and see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And many times so he read try to read hmm, in authentic book. And that you should remember in your heart. And then actually you can speak or tell or remain. Otherwise, or if you are hearing from any authentic person, you should remain. Otherwise it will be wrong. Don't play anything wrong which is not in Shastra. Play according to Siddhanta. To Siddhanta and what is in books. So Sri Rarinath Swami, he had a great desire to see the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And many uh, you should sit easily not standing, you, you, sit down. How you are sitting? So high? Ah, yeah. <laughs> so you should be in a, a side. You should be any side. That you should not cover anyone's... Go on. So Sri Raghunath Swami developed a great greed to go and to serve the Lotus through the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who at that time was living in Jagannath, in Sri Jagannath Puri Dham, Sri Ketra Dham. And many times he tried to run away from his house, but his father was a very wealthy man, and he had many guards, many servants. So every time Sri Raghunath Das Goswami would run away, he would be caught in the jungle, caught on the highway, and they would bring him back to the house. His, so Sri Raghunath Das Goswami's mother became so exasperated by his behavior, she suggested to his father that we should chain him, that with an iron chain we should bind him in his room, and this way he won't be able to run away. So Sri Govardhan Majumata said, he said, he already has so many chains, he says, that we are opulent like Indra at that time, his family was so wealthy they would earn millions and millions of gold coins, he had such large estates, his wife was beautiful like an upsada, he had very much education, beauty, Everything that, every, every material qualification, every material sort of facility Raghunath Das Goswami had. He said, and if these chains cannot bind him, he said, then what will an iron chain do? <laughs> these things won't bind him. So Raghunath Das Goswami, then he heard that Sri Nityananda Prabhu was in, was it Ram Kelly? Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Why you are asking me? <laughs> that Sri Nityananda Prabhu was coming very close. And just near Shantipur, the Sri Nityananda Prabhu was coming there, Panihati. Huh? <laughs> the Sri Nityananda Prabhu was coming with Panihati with all of his associates. That time Raghunath Das Goswami went to his father and begged, Oh my dear father, please I want to go and see the Lotus Sri Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You have left. What he has left? The meeting of Raghunath Das Goswami. Wow. And who? <coughs> Try to know exactly, you have time to read and to hear systematically, one after another not galloping. Thoroughly you should read. What you read, you should read thoroughly and completely. Not jig-jag here and there. So, Raghunath Das <coughs> was staying at the house of his father in the Adi Saptagram, Krishnapur, West Bengal. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mm -hmm. took sannyas in the year 1510, he was brought back from Katwa by the tricks of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. 
who had promised Satyamata that he would bring Chaitanya Mahapu back. So Chaitanya Mahapu came and he stayed for a little time at the house of Advaita Charja in Shantipur. So when Ragnar Das came to know this, then he begged from his father, Oh Father, please allow me to go and have darshan of the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So his father gave permission and along with some uh, guards, Chaitanya uh, Ragnar Das went to Shantipur and he met with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. At that time, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could see that Ragnar Das Goswami, Ragnar Das at this stage, his heart was so disturbed. He was always hankering to be with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and causing his family so much disturbance by running away again and again. So at this stage in his spiritual life, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he was praying that, Oh Mahaprabhu, I want to be with you always. And I think you are going to Puri. I want to go with you in Puri. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What told? So then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Raghunath Das, Oh my dear Raghunath, don't, be, don't behave like a madman. But rather, you should, for now, you should stay in your home and outwardly you should follow all your worldly duties and obligations. But internally, you should develop your nishta in bhajan to Sri Sri Radha Krishna Yuga. And in this way, you, by, not by behaving like a madman will one be able to cross over the ocean of material existence. But gradually, step by step, by internally developing his uh, mood, developing his path, naturally renunciation will come. And then when one's renunciation is mature, then at that stage one may leave all of these things. And any devotee is not matured. And he gives up his house, wife and twelve. And when he goes to do bhajan, it may be that he may return. Or where he will be, again he can collect any other lady and so much wealth, always collecting so many good things. So, this is not good. So when you should be matured in your grihastha jivan, then you should give up whole world, these things, and chant and remember, like the Gunadhar. So without maturing, we should not try to take this red cloth and give up wife and uh, other things. So he is born. So when Raghunath Das returned to his home, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again? Don't behave like you, you remember the lines? Then, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, don't be like a monkey. Have you told this meaning? Go on. He told him... What he told? What he told? Told that what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told to Raghunath Das Goswami. What Pudi Pak Prabhupada Prabhu said first was that uh, one should not um, exter artificially leave home hmm. without internally developing a mood of serving Radha and Krishna and outwardly performing one's activities. And then you what elaborated. Then, what on. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instruction was to Raghunath Das. Goswami. Also, he told him not to become attached to his home and not to take opulent. Did he take it that time? No, 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 that's okay. Don't behave like a madman. Oh, that don't be don't behave artificially like a madman, because you should you should go back to your home. What was that madness? Trying to 
trying to leave home and go to live with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes. Because it may be that after some time he will be disattached and he will return to again in birth. So first be mature. Being in householder life, you should respect all outwardly. And you should show that like a madman, attached, I am attached thoroughly in householder things. But really he is attached to Krishna, gradually going and going on. Always <coughs> from inner birth, he should be attached and try to develop Krishna consciousness and outwardly or respecting father, mother and other, doing householder jobs. So then Raghunath Das, he returned to his home. And upon returning, then he behaved like a very uh, orthodox materialist and his mother and father were so happy, they thought that now the problem was over because he was managing his father's estate and he was affectionate to his family members and wife. But internally, he was always remembering lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna. So, after some time, the news came that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who had gone touring in South India and had gone to Vrindavan, had now returned to Jagannath Puri. And Raghunath Das, on hearing that Mahaprabhu would return to Jagannath Puri, his eagerness to be united with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu increased so much. And again, he began to run away from his home. But always he was, he was caught and brought back. So the time came that Nityananda Prabhu, who was in Bengal... At that time he, her mother told to his father, but why you are not binding him in a rope or in a chain? Then his father told him. So <clears throat> then the father Raghunath Daska Swami replied to his wife, that how will a lifeless rope catch Raghunath Das Goswami? We have given a living rope in the form of a very beautiful wife who is like an angel of heaven. And wealth. And so much wealth, opulence like Indradev. If these things cannot capture him, then what will be the use of a rope? So, the time came that Nityananda Prabhu was traveling here and there doing Sankirtan with his associates and he came to the uh, area known as Panihati on the bank of Ganges. Raghunath Das Goswami requested permission from his father to go there and he said, if you do not let me go there, I will give up my life. So his father sent him in the company of some guards to go to meet with Nityananda Prabhu. So when Raghunath Das Goswami arrived at Panihati. Nityananda Prabhu was sitting like a moon surrounded by stars in the company of his associates on the bank of the Ganga. Raghunath Das Goswami approached and from a very great distance he was offering his pranams. So when Nityananda Prabhu called, saw him, then he called him, Hey Raghunath, come here, come here. But Raghunath Das would not come close. So Nityananda Prabhu quickly caught Raghunath Das and by force he put his two feet on the head of Raghunath Das Goswami. So he told Raghunath, you are a thief, you are a thief, so I, surely I will have to punish you. So why was Raghunath Das Goswami a thief? Because he was making so many efforts to go to attain the wealth of the heart of Nityananda Prabhu, that is the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But those lotus feet, they belong to Nityananda Prabhu. So, without the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, he was going there to take the, the wealth of the heart of Nityananda Prabhu. So he called, you are a thief, I will have to punish you. So, he decided, the punishment will be that you will have to serve all the Vaishnavas by providing them with a feast of uh, condensed milk and chip rice and yogurt. Yogurt and chip rice festival. So, then Raghunath Daskar Swami, he told his the guards, the servants, who are guards, 
to collect all so many ingredients, and all the ingredients were bought: bananas and yogurt and milk and honey, camphor, and so many ingredients and uh, flat rice, chip rice. And Ragnar Daskaswami, he served prasadam to all of the devotees. So at that time, when he was ser serving prasadam, Nityananda Prabhu, he sat down in meditation. And in his meditation, he began to call Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So by the power of the love of Nityananda Prabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he personally appeared there and began to dance in the kirtan. And Nityananda Prabhu also danced with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And in great joy, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was taking the uh, flat rice, the chip rice, and personally feeding Nityananda Prabhu. And Nityananda Prabhu was also feeding Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So after some time, the kirtan went on with uh, great ecstatic love. And then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he disappeared. So Nityananda Prabhu, he told to Raghunath Das Goswami that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he personally appeared here to bestow his mercy upon you. So now you can return to your home and you should know that very soon the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be upon you. And therefore, quickly you will be freed from the bondage of your household life and you will go to his shelter in Jagannath Puri. And there Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will bestow his mercy upon you by giving you into the hand of his very intimate associate, Srila Swarup Damodar Goswami. So then, Nityananda Prabhu, he told all the Vaishnavas, O oh Vaishnavas, you all bestow your blessings on Raghunath Das Goswami. So, from this pastime, we can learn some very important teachings. What is that? That without the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, no one can attain the shelter of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That Nityananda Prabhu, he is the Akanda Guru Tattva. So to attain the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu means uh, for us to take shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Guru and attain the mercy of Sri Guru. And how did Raghunath Das Goswami get the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu? By serving all the Vaishnavas. So by serving all the Vaishnavas, then the mercy of Guru will be there. And the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will follow along the path of the mercy of Sri Guru. So then, Raghunath Das returned to his home. Now, he became uh, so, so much anticipation was there in his heart to meet with Mahaprabhu that he would not even sleep inside the house. But he slept outside in the uh, place for worshipping Durga. In every household there's Durga Manda. So he was resting there at night and always thinking, when will I meet with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? When will such an opportunity come? So one evening, his Gurudev, Sri Yadunandan Acharya, he came there and Not told her... Morning. morning. In so morning. Oh. Early morning. Early morning. Early morning. Early morning. Early morning. When it was some darkness. Huh? Ab about um. four. Uh -huh. So at about four in the morning, <coughs> Yadunandan Acharya came there and spoke to Raghunath Das Goswami. O oh, Raghunath, my Pujari has given up the service of the deity and returned to his home. So, uh, I, I request you that if you can speak to him and persuade him to again take up the service. So, Raghunath Das Goswami, he left with his Gurudev. He came out from the house and even though the gods were there, the gods did not ex suspect anything because they thought, oh, he is with his Gurudev, so there will not be any problem. But having gone outside from the house, Raghunath Das Goswami said, Oh Gurudev, there is no need for you to come along. You can return to your home. I will go to the house of your Pujari and persuade him to again take up the service of the deity and send him along to you. So Yadunandan Acharya agreed to this and returned to his home. So when Raghunath Das had persuaded the Pujari to again resume the service of the deity, then he thought, now this is a golden opportunity. Because everyone thinks that I am with my Gurudev, they don't suspect anything. So I will immediately uh, take the, this golden opportunity to run away and join again with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, because many times in leaving uh, on the road towards Jagannath Puri, he had been caught. He thought, I must not take the road. I will have to go by a jungle path uh, where I cannot be caught. 
So Raghunath Das Goswami, he began to run through jungles. Usually the journey from uh, Adi Saptagram to Jagannath Puri would take one month. But Raghunath Das Goswami was running day and night so quickly that in only 12 days uh, he arrived in Jagannath Puri. He would run day and night, day and night. Every uh, few days he would lie down only for a few hours. Sometimes and something taking dry, moody oh, or anything and sometimes nothing. In huh? 12 days he took only 4 days. Day and night. No sleeping, <coughs> nothing. So, of those 12 days and 4 days he took some puff rice, sometimes a little milk, sometimes he would lie down briefly in any cow shed like this. But otherwise he was just running, running, running and he arrived there in Jagannath Puri. So, when he arrived in Jagannath Puri, he was he met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was sitting in the company of his associates. And when he met with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, "Oh Raghunath Das, Krishna has been so kind to you." Instant she saw that Raghunath is coming. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became so happy and told, what? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, Raghunath Das, surely the mercy of Krishna is upon you because you have come out from your household life which is like a deep dark pit which is filled with stool. And your father, Govardhan Majunda, and your uncle, Hiranya Majunda, they are like the worms in that pit of stool. Actually, they are not Vaishnava, they are Vaishnava pride. That means that outwardly they follow the rules and regulations of Vaishnavism and they serve the deity. They give charity to Brahmanas. But internally, this, the attainment... They also start devoting, no harm. But not doing and chanting, remembering themselves purely. So, they're not hearing, chanting and remembering purely. And they have not made the aim and object of their life the attainment of praying. And therefore, they are Vaishnava pride. So, Krishna has been so kind to you that you have come out from this uh, condition. So, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could see that Raghunath Swami was so thin and uh, dirty from his very arduous journey from Bengal. So, he told Govinda to take his personal servant, Govinda, to take care of Raghunath Das that he could be bathed and given some cloth and something to eat. And then later Chaitanya Mahaprabhu met again with Raghunath Das Goswami and he gave Raghunath Das Goswami into the hand of his very intimate associate Sri Swarup Damodar and told him that Swarup Damodar he's, he knows more than me about bhajan so you can learn everything from him. So Raghunath Das Goswami was staying in uh, Jagannath Puri, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was staying in Kashi Mishra Bhavan and at night in the Gambira and Raghunath Das Goswami would stay and s serve him very intimately Sri Swarup Damodar Goswami at the um, Satasana Ashram, hmm. Satasan Ashram. So Raghunath Das Goswami, his renunciation was very very severe. Hmm. You should speak after that. <coughs> if you want to do <coughs> bhajan, then life of Raghunath Das Goswami is so essential to know and to follow. Otherwise, we cannot do bhajan. Śrīla Raghunāda Goswāmi was in Puri in the association of Śrī Tītāni Mahāprabhu. At that time, he was on the personal guidance of Śrīla Sarabh Damodar. 
his parents, they had heard that Sri Raghunadas Goswami had arrived in Puri. And they became worried. They sent some servants there to... They knew now that he will not come back anymore. We have lost our... Uh, our darling son. Yeah, we have lost our darling son. He will be with Sitani Mahaprabhu from now on. Then they were considering we should send him some help, some support, because he will be there without any money, anything. We'll send some servants and money so that they will be able to serve Raghunadas and in this way he may be with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he will not be a burden for anyone. Then Raghunadas Goswami, he engaged the servants in organizing Mahaprasad festivals for the Vaishnavas. No? You have not read, it means. What? <laughs> Who can tell? You? You remember? Something. Hmm. Try to read thoroughly. अंदाज पर तीर मारना नहीं चाहिए अंदाज से तीर मत मारो लक्ष्य भेद करके तीर मारो माने क्या जरा समझा दीजिए व्हाट आई टोल्ड अंदाज से तीर मत मारो लक्ष्य भेद करके तीर मारो वी शुड नॉट मेक गैसेस इन द एयर वी शुड बी वेरी एक्यूरेट but don't make guess away aiming there so you should know what your goal target is hmm. <laughs> like endless <I'm> is <laughs> i want that oh our seo search all should be very accurate what they speak it will be correct Binda can tell, I know. <laughs> huh? You can tell? I know. <laughs> Only that person can tell, always he has engaged his body, mind and everything in Krishna consciousness. They can, because by our end of hour it will not come. It will come when we are totally what? Devoted and surrendered. Surrendered. And then automatically coming from outs, upside. Ascending man. Descending. Descending man. Not ascending. Then quickly it will come. It will throw five or hurt. And by reading and this, oh, at once you can forget that. You cannot understand all this. So if you will get shortly, then great. Hmm. Go on. So when Raghunath Das had first arrived in Puri, he was very weak. And Mahaprabhu told Govinda, you arranged that he should have prasad every day. Um, and so Raghunath Das for... Every day? That very day? Yeah. Not every day. And then he gave Raghunath Das Goswami in the hands of Sarup Damodar. Then what became afterward? After a few days he stopped taking the prasadam from Kodhi. Go on telling to audience, not to me. And he started to beg at the Shingadwara gate, the lion gate of the Jagannath temple. At this time his parents heard of his renunciation and they sent one Brahmin and some servants with the money for him and they and Raghunath Das Goswami engaged No, no, no. 
He was telling, okay, who will tell? Do you remember? Not exactly. Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why is now in? Oh, he is cooking. No. Ah, Pundari is hiding. Hiding? He is fearing. Dear Krishna Prabhu is also here. <laughs> like a rat? <laughs> like a rat. All the wind is at the door now. Uh, then, you have heard that his father has, has sent two cookers more marketing person and one Brahmin to cook. Because at that time Brahmins well used to be pure, but taking money, no harm. So he sent so many. To me bolba er pore ki holo? Sir Damodar kashi jakhon uni gelen, takhon unnar jivan charcha kiro kam hote laglo. Lo bolo. Unnar das ji ka jivan chhe. Koi se bolo. After meeting Saru Damodar Prabhu, Mahaprabhu hand over Das Goswami in the hand of Saru Damodar Prabhu. So his father, the incident of Majumdar and his uncle, Govardhan Majumdar and Hiranna Majumdar, sent Brahmins to help him, one cook, another part, taking care of marketing and etc. With so much money. With so much money. So Das Goswami, he... They told to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that his father had sent all these things. They told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that his father sent to Brahmins and some money, but taking care of Das Goswami, Rupanath Das. So they used to cook, then Das Goswami... Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered das Goswami that he used to take... take. Das Goswami denied to take it, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered him to take their preparation from them. Then they used to cook, and Das Goswami used to invite Mahaprabhu. After that he used to take his prasad. After two days, he, has, he is not inviting anymore to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then Mahaprabhu asked Govinda Prabhu, Govinda? Sarup Dhamadha. Sarup Dhamadha Prabhu. Why? Govinda is not inviting me anymore. What happened? Then Sarup Dhamadha Prabhu replied that he thinks that Vishayi Ranna Khaile Molin Hai Man, Molin Man Hoile Nahi Krishna Ras Maran. He is judged by himself and is also supported by scriptures. Don't take anything from materialistic person. If you take from them, then your mind will be dirty. That means your that mood of them will come in your mind. And thus then your bhajan you will be not Remember Krishna bhajan will be spoiled. So the Raghunath give up the invitation of his father, the Brahmins cooking anything, he don't like to take anymore. So he's not inviting you anymore. And how he's maintaining his life? Then he told that Sarodavadapur replied that he stand on the gate of Jagannath Temple and Singhodar and oh, he used to go in Ananda Bajar and Singhodar the mother. No. At first he used to take in Ananda Bajar, that means a marketing place of Chaitanya Jagannath Dev's Mahaprasad. After some days he came 
in the gate of Jagannath main temple that means Singhadwar. Who told to whom? Das was Sarvadamadapu is telling to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes. And he thinks he always standing there. Somebody will come and give me. Somebody will come and feed me. Oh, this is like a prostitute. Tendency of the prostitute. So he give up. Give up. Gave up that. That tendency also. So Mahaprabhu asked Daswas Sarvadamadapu Prabhu. Why are Ramana is doing nowadays? Sarvadamadapu replied. So Das Ramana Das judged by himself that Singha Dare Bhikkha Bhikti Besara Achar Besara Achar Besara Achar. That means standing on Singha Dwar, waiting for persons is like a prostitute. So he gave up that place. Nowadays, how he maintaining his life in the kitchen from Jagannath Dev's temple? So many grain of rice came out with that rice water, and it getting rotten. So foul smell. Even the cow never cared. That's why Sami used to go there and collect some rotten rice and clean it very clearly. After the what is in in the middle part, he used to take and somehow he maintain his life. One day Mahaprabhu reached there. When he heard from Sarvadamadar, when one he heard day. from Sarvadamadar Prabhu, Mahaprabhu suddenly reached there. One day suddenly reached there, and by force he took from Das Goswami, "Oh, Raghunath, you are get, taking so delicious food stuff. You are not giving me. How much are you worth?" And he took Mahaprabhu and Mahaprabhu took and gave ate him. one food stuff in his mouth. After that, Das Goswami checked him. "Oh, Prabhu." Sarup Damodar. Sarup Damodar to check him. Hmm. Oh Prabhu, don't do so. It is not for yourself. If you take this, you will, it will, you will get sick. So after the Das Goswami, according to Sarup Damodar Prabhu's advice, he he should do Manasi Seva and that the Mahat Das Goswami is. Sarvadamadar Prabhu, he never asked anything to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu directly. Then he asked Sarvadamadar Prabhu, why Mahaprabhu bring me here from my house? Bring me here? Brought me here from my... What is the meaning of bring me here? <laughs> why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu brought me here from my household life? And Sarvadamadar Prabhu request Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that Raghunath want to hear something you from you from you. <laughs> so Mahaprabhu told then पहले ना तुम ये मिनी बोलो गामो का बाता ना बोली बे गामो का था ना सुनी बे ओमानी भालो ना खाई बे भालो ना खाई बे और भालो ना पड़ी बे Amani Manadha Yaya Krishna Nam Sada Lave Bhalo Na Khaive, Bhalo Na Paribhe Gramya Katha Na Bolibhe, Na Shunibhe Na Shunibhe Kane Bhalo Na Bhaibhe Radhi Radha Krishna Seva Sada Mana Se Karibhe Don't take palatial food stuff and don't gossiping each other and you will serve divine couple by mind. You will serve. Okay, you should. Yeah, you. You should. You should. Not will. You should serve. What is the difference between you should and you will? That means should means we have to order him and will means in future. So try to know all these things and to tell like this. Not always showing your teeth to others. <laughs> hmm. Go on. So you should serve divine couple by your mind. So that's what some What what is the meaning? Within your mind. So that's what some being in this body in his, this body that means in Sadhak Sarid, Jathavasti they used to serve divine couple regularly.
Like our Goswami is Manushi Seva. What is Manushi Seva? Manushi means service by mind. Just like like Rupa Goswami has mentioned in his Bhakti Rishami Shindhi. Sh- Krishnam Smaranam Krishnam Smaranam Janan Chasa Prestham Niya Sami Isam Tat Tat Katha Ratas Chasa Kurya Vasam Gati Sada Put Lava Matam Put Chek Khal Put 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 Kintu Tat Tat Vichar Karge Ujta Bolboi Eita Ami Chai Kintu Tafan Agar Edige Udige Karada Krishnam Smaranam Janan Chasa you should remember Krishna and his associates. So Krishna has so many associates. So what kind of associate will remember? Not he. How the associates are serving Chaita, Krishna? You should always remember. What the greed we ha- you have according to that, if you have agreed to serve Krishna like mother, then always are followed following mother by interior mode. And if you have agreed to serve Krishna like gopis, Rupa, Rati, Manjari and others, then you should always try to remember the pastimes of Krishna with gopis and how they are serving hmm, by uh, outer senses, you should try to do Vaidhi Bhakti like <coughs> all the angs, and internally you should remember the past times and try to serve by a Siddha Deha. Nije Siddha Deha Kari Abhaman. He told them. And then he gave one. Sila, Govardhan Sila, which came from Go- Govardhan Giriraj, any devotee br- brought it and gave to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to serve with his tears hmm, and always keeping on his eye lips here and there. Uh, and he gave it with Gunja Mala to Raghunath and told that you should worship this with one. Uh, Kunja Mala, pitcher of water and eight, five, eight, 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 eight tulsi, tulsi lips, manjari. manjaris, hmm? and two side two yes. very soft lips, and you should keep. Why? Huh? Why? Because Krishna will be so pleased very soon. By other means, he will not be so. Uh, Bhut, control. Mm-hmm. But by this, very soon, Krishna will hear your all prayers and He will be merciful to you. So you should do. And because He has nothing, He was penniless. His father sent, but He is returned. Hmm? If a grihastha hmm, is maintaining his life, he should at least try to uh, spend some money, his energy to Krishna and to devotees. Otherwise, is thief. Krishna Bhakti will be very, very far away. If he is maintaining his wife, his children, his mother, father, why he cannot maintain the devotees? He should certainly at least some portion, portion of some his, percentage. at least half. And if not half, then any percentage is must Otherwise he can serve in his whole life. But if he is penniless, nothing, like Raghunath Das Goswami, he can serve the deities with only water and tulasi. But if he has any means, then he should at work, um, give very delicious foods. Hmm? Otherwise bittasat will come. Bitta, what is the meaning of bittasat? Bhittasat means having money but not expensing for Krishna and devotees, only for his wife, his children, himself. He can go to market and bring so many things for him, but not for Krishna, not for devotees. Then, 
So, uh, what was I telling you about Raghunath Das? Mm-hmm. So the mandaris are afraid. Mandaris so are water. That is why, because he was penniless. He never kept any single pies. So he told this. But other bhakti he never told like this. What is the time? Dosta Chalis. Oh, we matra Dosta Chalis. So he so began to do like this. Until he came to Kiraj Govardhan, he was doing. After that, began to do like this, always thinking. And hearing, see, Raghun, um, Sarup Damodar. And if he wants to ask anything, throw Sarup Damodar, he used to ask from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu disappeared, he became mad totally. Unmadagrasta. Hmm? After some time, Vadadar Pandit also went, Sarup Damodar also. Then he could not maintain his life. Then he used, wanted that I should go to Govardhan and from there I will jump and I will die. Or in Jamuna. Why? Why? Why not in sea? Because he was not like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that seeing that sea is Jamuna and Chatak Parvat is like Govardhan. So he want to come to Vrindavan and he to give his life there in Vrindavan to become his his body will be mixed in the dust of Vrindavan. That is why he wanted. So he came here weeping here, so then he met first with Rupa and Sanatana Goswami and they behaved him like younger brother, like son and they told that don't give up your life. If by giving up life Krishna is attained, his prem is attained, what? His prem is Attained, achieved. Then I will die daily, hundreds and lakhs times. But by this he will not. So you should be in Vrindavan, especially in Radha Kund. And you should chant, remember, and read my books. Sometimes Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami also used to go to Radha Kund. And thus he used to do like this. He used to take only one um, handful, handful, palmful, only matta, matta milk charge, nothing else, whole night and day, no sleep at all. Sankhya purvakanam gannati bhi kala vasani kratau, nidra har vihar kad vijitau, chatanta dinau chajau, radha krishna gunasmate madhuriman dena sammohitau bandhi. Sometimes something this curd and sometimes nothing. No sleeping at all. Never he used to sleep. And thus whole day, night chanting and remembering and reading the books of Rupa Goswami, all so lamenting and weeping. The pages of that books used to be uh, wetted. Sometimes Rupa Goswami, you told, oh, I will give a very best book, this should be returned to me. And thus he used to take and he used to write so many books uh, that he may laugh, not. And that is why he made Dan Keli Komaldi. At Dan Ghati, Govardhan, and quarreling with Gopis Krishna, and he used to laugh so much now. So, but after some time, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami became aprakat, disappeared. And after that, Rupa Goswami also. Oh, then he became mad totally. Then, Girindram Ajgarayate, Sunnayatam Mahagostam, Ajate, Gostai. Then he began to like this. Hmm? Mad totally. Where he came, Radha Kun used to be like lion, tigers, that it is taking, swallowing. And Giriraj Govardhan like Ajgar, python. 
and ghost ghost means nanda gaon barshana and all other thing where krishna used to be played and sunnaitam zero like then he became so mad what to do but anyhow he was kept at that time he used to love krishna das kaviraj goswami and jeev goswami what he used to know and what he has heard from chaitanya mahaprabhu and sarup damodar rup goswami he gave all it to krishna das kaviraj goswami and krishna goswami has written all these things from sarup damodar karcha and from raghunath das goswami and rup goswami has written in all chaitanya chaitam that is why he had become so authentic book chaitanya chaitam thus after some time raghunath das goswami chanting her name in aradha kund he left it gaur pramana then bisona chakravarti thakur this is also auspicious day this appearance day of bisona chakravarti thakur you know all and now it is time over time is over but he was a very authentic boy in boyhood he, he read all the books of rup goswami in boyhood he was in the guru parampara of nartam thakur fourth person after nartam thakur hmm? he wrote um, um, bhakti rasami sindhu bindu kiran and kana when he was reading in school hmm? and then after some time he when he became so learned in sanskrit vedanta and all and he left his home he was married he left when he reached to bindavan his guru told that i will not uh, you you cannot be here you should return and ask your permission of your wife then he returned again and hari katha whole night with his wife and it became morning then he did pranam to his wife and told that now you should give me permission to go and she permitted now he became so vaishnavi and then he returned to his guru dev and then he began to in the process of rup goswami and he was very fond of parkiya madhur rash and he wrote so many things he wrote so many books and the explanation of shrimad bhagavatam and he established parkiya this bhajan pranali hmm? which jeev goswami has told swakhiya bhav to his some anadhikari unqualified. unqualified he has told both for qualified parkiya and unqualified he has told to swakhiya hmm? and thus at that time all began to do swakhiya bhajan and rejected parki abhav because all the sampradaya at that time in bindavan were opposite to this but bisona chakrata thakur again established it by his when he was doing so all the baba jis of bindavan they became against they wanted to kill him one day he when he was circumlating bindavan in very morning somewhat in some andhakar darkness they wanted to kill him in a very dark gray grove when they, he reached there they were waiting with dagger or anything to cut him down but they at once saw that bisunas chakravarti thakur was not there there was a very teenager girl <coughs> with his any friend um, girlfriend and she was also gopi and she was also gopi both and they were picking some flowers the persons who were invited to him they asked oh lali lali man little girl i saw that bisuna chakravarti thakur was coming but where he has gone then he, 
she began to smile and told, hmm? oh. I am coming for picking flowers. And at once he saw that there was not Vishwanath Chakra, um, that little teenager girl, only Vishwanath Thakur was going in. Oh, at once then, oh, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur is a Siddha Mahapurush. What is Siddha Mahapurush? Perfected and liberated personality. Huh? So he is a gopi, surely, in the guidance of Rupa Goswami, Rupa Manjari. So they beg pardon and they beg his forgiveness. forgiveness. And thus they were all. But they did pronounce to him. Mm-hmm. After that, you know that this Vishwanath Chakvarti Thakur has sent his disciple. Baldev Vidyabhushan to Jaipur to defeat the arguments of other, especially of Sri Sampradaya, Ramanu Sampradaya. Hmm? They were objecting that Radha is not married wife of Krishna, so she should not be with Krishna. If worshipping Krishna alone or with Rukmini or Satyabhama, not with Radhika. Hmm? And Gaudiya Vaishnava is no sampradaya, is out of sampradaya, no authentic asana. They have no any authentic Vedanta, oh, Sutra, um, Bhashya or anything. Uh, then by the order of Vishwanath Chakur went there and he cut the arguments of all these bogus Vaishnavas and established Srimati Radhika with Krishna and he at once made Brahma Sutra Bhashya, Govinda Bhashya and so and they at once were turned and thus he conquered them and returned to Vrindavan. Vrindavan, um, Vishwanath Chakvartu had compiled so many books like hmm? Rākvatma Chandrika, yeah. Bhakti Sāmi Sindhu, Ujjwal Nīnmani, Krishna Bhava, Bhavana Mitsar and explained so many books, authentic books, explanation, Bhashya and Tika of Gita also that I have translated, uh, translated and it has been okay. published in Hindi and very soon it will come in English also. Very authentic, very good books. I have, uh, especially I have, um, published the books of Bhakti Manohar Thakur and Vishwanath Chakvarti Thakur, both. And they are uh, bona fide Vaishnava. And in very simple language, they are given all the idea of Mahaprabhu and Srila Rupa So if you want to do Bhakti, then you can go through all these books. They will help more. Or Gita, um, first, Swamiji Gita, as it is, uh, he has given so many things for ordinary persons, though who are entering, basic and primary principles. But if you read this, oh, actually you will be very enlightened. And you will now understand what Swamiji wanted to give in his explanation. Then you can know. Otherwise you cannot know. Go. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Do you remember that song? 
कहा मोर रूप रघुना जय अनिल प्रेम धन Thank you. 
जल्दी जल्दी कमान वी आर नॉट टेस्टिंग हियर एनी एनी हेल्प एनी फेयर एल्स यू आर स्टेइंग नॉट हियर नो टू समन हाउस टुडे वी आर गोइंग एंड ऑल द डिवोटिज इज गोल्ड टू मारो लटोका राइट right. आप कुशल हैं ये आपकी धर्म पत्नी है बहुत अच्छा आओ बेटे मेरी बहन नांदी साई बहुत अच्छा आ जाओ आ जाओ हिंदी समझती हैं जी बहुत अच्छा दो हैव नॉट टेकन बेस्ट वुड कम अरे देख हाँ बहुत अच्छा एनी वन मोर एनी वन Be ready, ha? Yeah. Huh? Be ready. Yeah. Hmm. Give it to Brinda to distribute anyone to householders and others. Gaur Premanand. Everything, not living for her. And then, if anything, 
they will do all okay. everywhere. What? Go to Primananda! 